The last few weeks have seen a sudden change in the rate of infections, raising concerns as to where things are headed if nothing is done. The infection rate in Rubavu District A in general is at 15.6%, but some sectors in urban areas have registered rates higher than 35% for all tests taken, and that is very high. Following consultations with the Ministry of Health, we decided that Rubavu's residents should remain in their district while preventive measures are tightened, and any movement between it and other districts is closely monitored. Kigali is also being warned because some sectors like Nyakabanda and Ngendo have been found to have high infection rates. We are urging local residents to realize that enforcing these preventive measures should not be a task meant just for the authorities. They too should play their role. Health officials in the country are also urging the general public to realize the seriousness of the situation, with the Ruavu district leading the pack when it comes to infection rates in the last two weeks, followed by Rutsiro. Last week's infection average was at 300. Now it has climbed to 1,200. COVID infection rates have gone up by 275% in the last two weeks, and fatalities have increased by 25%. Hospitalization because of COVID has increased by 175%. Even with the most conservative projections, we still have a worse situation next week, which is why something must be done. In addition to this, 400 people who have already been vaccinated with one or two jabs were also found to have contracted the virus, and even though none showed any symptoms, there is little doubt as to the fact that they most likely passed it on to numerous others nevertheless. The Kanyinya and Gatenga COVID treatment centers that were closed four months ago have now been reopened after Nyarujenja Hospital hit 65% of capacity because of fresh infections. Health officials are still confident, however, that the pandemic can still be brought under control if people once again begin strictly practicing the preventive measures in place. <laughs> Figures indicate that the infection rate is on the rise and that we must all play our part as individuals and institutions to bring it down again. We have the measures to pull it down and we have been using them successfully for almost two years now. It only requires that we all work together to make them effective. Even though COVID-19 variants are yet to be found in Rwanda, Health officials are warning that the Delta variant of the virus that spreads and kills at a rate four times what the ordinary one is able to do has been found in neighboring countries. Now the Ministry of Local Government has announced that some new measures to combat the spread of COVID-19 in some of the districts across the country. Minister Jean-Marie Vianney Gatabazi takes us through some of the measures as some of these districts not arise in COVID-19 infections. Enforcing these preventive measures should not be the sole responsibility of the government or security organs. It has to be the responsibility of everyone, including the heads of institutions and citizens. If someone owns a hotel, he or she should set up a task force that follows up on how their preventive measures against COVID are being handled because they are safe and then it is a good business for them. If they all fall sick, then of course there are repercussions for that. And this applies to market traders as well. They should set up committees to follow up to ensure that they have water and that everyone is following up on the guidelines because it is for their own good. We have instructed that all places set up committees of at least five people who will follow up on the COVID-19 guidelines. And these are all institutions, trading centers, private sector. They should seek to own this initiative. For those who will not follow them, then they will be considered negligent and we will follow up on them. However, we are calling on all citizens to respect the guidelines, but also want to thank them for obeying these measures. All they need is explanations as to why the measures have been put in place. When we start to get good results and the curfew hours will be reduced and even things like total lockdowns will be a thing of the past, and everybody will enjoy that. Thank you.